Hi, friends. Have you ever looked at a clock and thought, who invented this amazing thing that helps us know what time it is? Clocks are everywhere, in our homes, on our phones, even on the walls of our schools. But long, long ago, people didn't have clocks at all. So, how did they know when to wake up, eat, or go to sleep? Let's take a trip through time to discover the history of clocks and how humans learn to keep track of time. Our story starts thousands of years ago, when people used the sun to tell time. Imagine this. You're living in ancient Egypt, and you want to know how long the day is. You notice that when the sun rises, shadows are long, and as the sun moves across the sky, the shadows get shorter. The Egyptians invented something called a sundial, which used shadows to show what time it was. Pretty clever, right? But sundials only worked when the sun was shining. What about nighttime? That's when people turn to the stars. Ancient civilizations like the Babylonians noticed that certain stars appeared in the sky at the same time every year. They used this to create early calendars and plan important events, like planting crops or celebrating festivals. Fast forward to about 1400 BCE. People in ancient China invented the water clock. This was a bowl with a small hole that let water drip out slowly. When the bowl was empty, they knew a certain amount of time had passed. It wasn't perfect, but it worked. Then came the mechanical clock, invented in Europe during the Middle Ages. These clocks used gears and weights to keep time, and they were often found in churches to help people know when to pray. Imagine hearing a giant bell ringing in a village square, telling everyone it was time for lunch. By the 17th century, scientists like Galileo Galilei made big discoveries that improved clocks. Galileo noticed that a swinging pendulum always moved at the same speed, no matter how big or small the swing. This idea led to the invention of the pendulum clock, which was super accurate for its time. Now, let's talk about watches. The first pocket watches were invented in the 1500s, but they were super expensive and only rich people could afford them. Over time, they became smaller, more affordable, and easier to carry. By the 20th century, wristwatches became popular and now almost everyone had a way to tell time. And today, we have digital clocks and smartwatches that can do so much more than just tell time. They can show the weather, track your steps, and even let you play games. But why is timekeeping so important? Well, imagine a world without clocks. You wouldn't know when to wake up for school, when to catch a bus, or when your favorite show is on. Time helps us organize our day, meet friends, and work together. Now, here's something to think about. If you could invent a new kind of clock, what would it look like? Would it float in the air, glow in the dark, or maybe it could talk to you? Let me know your ideas in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for joining me on this exciting journey through the history of clocks and timekeeping. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more fun adventures in history and science. See you next time, and remember to keep exploring the world around you.